with a poem. This is whatever first. Um, I thought this company can improve this because the midsole, this is just not okay. The midsole is super old and then the front is like a mixture of like Air Force Ones with Pumas. And that's not really the style and I was like more for like older people who were like K-Swiss. So it ain't really not the style now for kids so I think they can have it more of a flat and no holes on the top and this one. I can improve it by anything and by putting adding colors to it at least to this so it wouldn't be like so basic so at least like it has some type of like style to it like it's just not a all white shoe. I look for um mostly the um the look of it and also like the just the general look of it like I like these because like this as soon as you see this they stand out it got the gold with the blue speckles even though like you really don't see a lot of blue and gold shoes like the speckles and like the shape of the shoe really come together and also it's like ASICs they have a good um support system for your um ankles and your feet like yeah these you know I got to get these for my birthday this year my 18th birthday you know, special about those shoes? Um, special about them is when you put the flash on it, it like changes colors. It's not exactly like 3M material. It's luminescent. So, and also since my favorite player is LeBron, they get you since Nike ID. They, they you can customize every part of the shoe. The inside is like the LeBron Galaxy, like the 2010 All Star release. So that really made it special. And the bottom is like a icy. It's like icy. Got different colors on it. Definitely makes it really unique. It's really, it's really big. That's why, I, like, the main part I got started into like the shoe customizing and restoring like business because a lot of since I went to a public school, a lot of people wore the same shoes and everybody got the same general release Jordans and stuff like that. And I want mine like to be different, so I didn't have to wear the same shoes. Everybody like being the same class as three other people who got the same shoe on as me. That's, that's why I started doing it. And that's how I took off from there. And then uh, also getting like a stuff that just people wouldn't like, or normal people wouldn't wear. Like a lot of people wouldn't wear like just every Puma or something like that, or Reebok or anything like that. A lot of people just wear like the general Nikes or Jordans, but like these, half the people I know wouldn't even wear these. But yeah, these feel, these feel nice. Yeah, I really like these. Mm. Yeah. My um, rainbow hirachis called the um, Taste of Rainbow Hirachis, I, I named them. I did this for myself, but I also did many other orders with these too, because these really like broke the net for me on Twitter and, and Instagram. I got shout outs from like, shout out my Nikes, uh, everything Nike on Twitter, things like that. But yeah, I got at least like six different colors in here. And that's basically it. Yeah, it was important to me, but not anymore because, like, I learned that's part of, like, for me, like, being different. It was, like, it really didn't matter to me no more. Like, ASICs, a lot of people wouldn't wear. A lot of people, like, a lot of people didn't used to wear a Puma until they started making different styles. And a lot of the girls rocking out with the Rihanna Puma, Fenty Pumas and stuff like that. So they're getting back popular. A lot of people don't rock Reebok really, but those are about to get popular again, so I can already tell. So it's all about like the bandwagon, how things go. That's how people really decide what shoes hot or not. My name is Booker Donaldson. This was the Soul of My Soul, brought to you by True Access. <laughs>